Welcome back to video number three from this series on how to travel in this year. You are taking all the vacations. Maybe I'll be able to get you on more than one. That would be awesome, hopefully, but I'm getting ahead of myself. For now, let's just talk about how to budget for vacation. The first thing you wanna do when you are budgeting is now that you know how much it's going to cost to go on vacation, you're gonna to want to start thinking of things that you could cut out. Of course, you can't cut down on your like electricity bill that much or your water bill. Even if you do, it's kind of like not, it's not gonna be like life-changing amounts of money, right? Start cutting out frivolous things. You don't go out for the week or you don't go out for the month or you don't drink the fancy coffees or you don't order in, you don't get fast food, like you budget and you have your own food at home. This is the easiest way to save money. I don't know why as humans we spend so much money on food. I do also, but I look at my credit card every month and I'm like, ooh, I ate a lot of food. <laughs> I'm sure your credit card is the same way. So this is one of the best ways to budget is to start cutting out food and just start eating at home because it's so much cheaper to just make your own food. Even if you get the frozen dinners, guys, that's gonna be way cheaper than going out to eat every day. So you don't necessarily have to make a whole extravagant dinner or anything. It's just about like cutting down and buying stuff from the grocery store. It's gonna be like a fraction of the cost of what you would spend going out to eat at a restaurant. Another idea of how to save money is cut down on your subscriptions. So maybe at this time you have, you know, Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, Disney Plus, you have all these different subscriptions going on. The reality is if you just put it on pause for like three months, that's probably like a good $300 that you're saving if you think about it. So if you can manage to do that and just maybe keep one subscription, watch YouTube, whatever, that will really help you save money. And like I said, you can save at least like $300 easy in three months just cutting out subscriptions. While you're at work, Ask your boss if you can tack on some extra hours or maybe you can cash out some vacation pay early or do you have vacation pay or do you have sick days that you could use that maybe you could cash it out for cash value, you know, actually use the money that you're actually earning or you could work a couple extra shifts, a couple hours just to like tack on a few extra hundred dollars at the end of the month. All of this really does add up and it will go towards your vacation that you'll be able to have a greater time on because you'll have more spending cash. If you're really low on cash, you can take advantage of like holiday jobs where maybe you do something in the morning for a few hours and then they're not expecting you to do like full time. You could just do like part time here and there. Maybe it's even just stocking shelves for the holidays. That's an easy way to pick up some money. There's all sorts of little like pickup jobs that you could do, even something like DoorDash or now they have like shopping people that like shop for people. There's all sorts of little ways that you can pick up quick cash. Maybe you could offer to like babysit your friend's kids or like babysit your friend's animals because even if they're paying you like $20 for the day, for the night or something, that all adds up. And those are the kind of things too that you're kind of giving your friends a vacation also because especially with animals, you feel like you can't really leave them alone. So if you stay over their house at night while they get to go on a cute date together or you know watch their kids while they go out to dinner or something, you're kind of all helping each other out. So that really works good too. There's so many different videos out there for ideas, so feel free to check some of those out. I won't go too much into it, but I just wanted to give you an idea that there are ways to get out of your comfort zone and make a little extra cash, and there's other ways to get out of your comfort zone and just kind of not be as frivolous with your spending as you usually are and kind of pay more attention to what you're actually spending money on. Now let's dive into how to actually budget while you're on vacation. So. The main thing, as we already talked about, is food. Food is what you're gonna spend the majority of your money on. And depending on which city you go to, transportation would be the second thing. If you're gonna rent a car, that's gonna be an additional cost. If you're going to be walking, then you're not gonna be spending much money. So depending on your budget, maybe aim for more of a walking city if you have a lower budget. And if you have a higher budget, feel free to rent a car and really get out there and explore. But otherwise, I would suggest doing more of like a walking city because you won't spend as much money. Again, if you go to somewhere like New York or Las Vegas, there's so many free things to do anyway. They have free shows. They have all the sites. You'll All of that is free to see as long as you don't go inside. Some of them are free to go inside too, like New York City of Grand Central Station, 
you have the High Line. There's all sorts of stuff to see for free there. Vegas is the same way. Any casino you can go into is all like a different theme. So there's tons of stuff to see in that city too. Then you have things like museums that are free or in New York, you could take the Staten Island Ferry, it's free. There's a lot of free stuff to do in different cities and all cities tend to be like this. So just make sure you do your research and see what you can do for free first. And that's the best way to have a good budget. Again, depending on how your budget is and what kind of vacation you're trying to have. If you're just trying to get to a vacation and see things and get a pool and like really enjoy just like sitting around or whatever, you can just like buy ramen. Like every city has a CVS or a Dwayne Reed or you know, they have drug stores where you can buy your alcohol, you can buy your snacks, get ramen noodles if you want to, just live off ramen for a couple days. Like ramen's like at 50 cents or something like that. Like if you are strict, strict budget, there's gonna be a microwave in your hotel room. You can just heat up some water. It's really easy to save money just by not eating out, just like anywhere else. On the flip side, you could also do this at home before you go on vacation so that you have money to spend on vacation. Just eat ramen noodles for a week at home and save that money that you would usually spend at a restaurant on a restaurant on vacation because you can do really good happy hours and there's cheap affordable restaurants in every city too. Usually the mom and pop places are like less money. So maybe you don't have fancy food every night, but you budget so that you have one good meal. Maybe you budget like a hundred per person or something to really like get extravagant with it, including alcohol and everything. Or you might just budget $50. You can still be pretty extravagant in most cities like that. So it really just depends what you're trying to do. But the main thing is you want to kind of look around and see what pricing is like before you go because that way it will give you a better way of how to budget your money. So for example, again, I say all inclusives, you don't need to really budget because everything is all included anyway, no matter what restaurant you go to, the steakhouse, the sushi place, like it's all included in your price, the all inclusiveness of it, right? You just have to make a reservation and then you can go in. In the other cities, it's a little more complicated because you have different price rates. But then again, for example, if you go to Chinatown in New York City, you can get some amazing seafood and noodles and things for a lot cheaper than if you ate in Midtown in the middle of the tourist area. Same with Vegas, there's different places, different price points. So if you're eating at like Wolfgang Puck's, obviously it's gonna be more expensive than if you just eat at In-N-Out Burger, which is around the corner. I know I'm really harping on food a lot, but I just feel like that's where the majority of your budgeting comes in because that's where you're gonna be most frivolous with your spending. Like obviously if you're seeing a show, you're gonna know it's at least like $100. So you already can kind of block that out to be like, okay, this is probably gonna be at least 100. If I find it for $40, that's great because there are websites like that, like Tix for Tonight in Vegas or New York City has off-Broadway shows and things like this. You can get discount tickets the day of to go to different shows. So again, if you do your research, you can find these things online so you get a better idea of what pricing is like. There are options. And then, like I said too, there's free shows also. Like Vegas is full of free shows. New York has a lot of free shows. If you're at an all-inclusive, they have free performances included with your rates. I talk a lot more about these three in this video. It's like three best places to go on a budget. It'll give you a better idea of how to budget while you're in different cities. And guys, there are so many things now in this day and age. For example, maybe you find this amazing package on Expedia, but it's like too much money to put up front. It's fine because you can use things like Affirm and these other websites that let you break up your payments into installments. So you can actually like go on vacation and not have to pay for vacation until you get back. I'll leave that video here for you to check out. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I've just used them in the past. You do get charged interest on top of that, but it doesn't matter because I've had payments as small as like $20 a month, which is so affordable. And that for a lot of people is like life-changing information. You're basically getting a small loan. Like you get to go wherever you wanna go, even if it's like thousands of dollars. It gets broken down into really small affordable installments. So now you can even take that dream luxury vacation you've always wanted to take and only have to pay like $50 a month. But in this one, I just wanted to kind of throw out some ideas and let you guys know you can afford to travel just cut out some little things and you'll be able to go wherever you wanna go. It'll be amazing and you'll have the best time ever. All right guys, I will see you in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have ideas for different ways to budget and save money and things like this, let us know in the comments. Let's all help each other out and otherwise I'll see you in the next video.